Hi, Year 3, Mr Jones here in school. How are you doing, everyone? Um, Friday again, soon comes around. Hope everyone's really enjoyed their learning this week. Yesterday we did um, some subtracting with measurements, so perhaps using those column subtraction methods that we learned um, earlier in the term, earlier last term. Um, today we're going to be looking at something a bit new, but just to go back again, um, we will seem to be great at converting centimetres into metres and centimetres. That, that seems like something that we've got hold of. But for some reason, we still seem to be struggling slightly with converting millimetres into centimetres and centimetres and millimetres. So what we're going to do, I've just got to set you a, a bit of a different task today. Um, but there are the answers for yesterday. Okay, So we've got the answers for yesterday first. I was up on the screen. Uh, if you want to take a screenshot of those, they are the answers for yesterday. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to move on to a little challenge. I've set you, a, I've set you an actual little challenge here. Um, what I want you to do is to use a ruler or measuring tape, a pair of scissors, you can cut pieces of paper, string or ribbon. So I've set you this challenge of cutting a piece of string, ribbon or paper six centimetres in length, eight 25 millimetres in length, um, a piece 14 millimetres in length, another piece eight centimetres and five millimetres, another piece 67 millimetres, another piece 15 centimetres and, and five millimetres, and one 155 millimetres in length. You need to ask yourself, are any pieces of string or ribbon that you've cut the same length? Okay, so I want to see you actually cut it. If you can send me some pictures of you actually doing those cuts, or perhaps measuring the pieces of string paper against a ruler. So I want you to get this understanding of what centimetres, how many millimetres in a centimetre. So that's my aim. So something that's 25 millimetres long. Have a look. How many centimetres is that? Yeah. Have a look. Measure them in millimetres. Measure them in centimetres. Get that understanding that there's 10 millimetres in one centimetre. So that's what I'd like you to focus on in our fluency first. So a bit of a different task than normal. Okay. Next thing I would like is our what? Okay. Something new today a bit new, um, to measure the perimeters of a range of shapes in both centimetres and millimetres. New learning is practised so that we can find how far Amelia has run. Okay, so this is all about perimeter. Anyone heard about the perimeter before? Anyone heard that word? Strange perimeters, it looks like. Perimeter is the distant around the outside of a shape. So if you imagine the mugger at school, you've got a metre rule or a tape measure and measured the four lengths of the rectangle, so the widths and the lengths of the rectangle, you would get the perimeter, the whole perimeter of the mugger in school. If I wanted to do the perimeter of this room, I would measure against one wall, the next wall, the four wall, and I would end up with the perimeter of the room. If you imagine walking round the mugger, if the distance that you have walked is the perimeter of the mugger, okay? So if you measured, the, if you got the whole fence of the mugger and stretched it out, rather than going around the mugger and measured the fence, that would be the perimeter of the mugger, okay? So that's a new word, and we're gonna be investigating how to work out how to measure the perimeter of various shapes and objects, various 2D shapes and objects. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we'll find this, it's unit eight, lesson eight. Um, we're gonna do a discover, share, think together, and then you'll find the practice books. It's on practice book B, practice book B. Practice book B, page 107 to 109. 
Okay, so let's have a look at this first. Okay, so I'll try maybe. Bear with me a minute. Big head. Move it, make it a bit smaller. Okay, so here we go. We've got Alex. Thou discover measuring the perimeter. So we've got Alex there. Alex is measuring, making shapes out of wool. Stick on her card. How much wool has Alex used to make the red triangle? Okay, so to measure the perimeter, I always give you this tip. You're going to need to start somewhere. And what I always do, whether I'm teaching year six, year three, I will tell them to do this. Whenever you start measuring perimeter, put a little dot where you start. Then, just like in this picture here, you're going to put your ruler starting from zero at this dot, and you're going to measure this. Then it's best to record that distance. This distance is five centimeters, not to scale. So that's five centimeters. I'm just going to put five. Then I get my ruler, zero here, or zero there, and I measure this distance. So measuring activity. So I measure that distance, and that distance is four centimeters. Then I measure this distance, and this is three centimeters. Okay, you'll see that pattern in right angle triangles, bit of Pythagoras, it's called a three, four, five triangle, but we are doing um, at the moment perimeters, so we'll just leave that. Okay, so then I add five, add four, add three. I can use my number line, five, add four, add three, that takes me to 12. Centimeters. So the perimeter of the triangle is 12 centimeters. Okay, that is the perimeter, using a ruler to measure. So how much wool has Alex used to make the red triangle? She's used 12 centimeters of wool. Has Alex used more or less wool to make a blue polygon than the red triangle? So poly means many, one sided, so it's many sided shape, many sided shape. Okay, so it's got, let's have a count of sides. So I'm going to put my dot there, let's start from there, maybe. Okay, so I'm going to measure there, that distance, that distance, that distance, that distance, and this distance. And then I'm going to add them up and see what the perimeter of this whole shape. Imagine a little ant walk in here, measuring down here, a little ant walk in there. The perimeter of this shape is if you imagine the little ant, the distance this little ant has covered, he walks around the shape. Okay, so here we've got the measurements. One side's three, then we've got a two, a two, a one, a one, and a one, and then my ant is all the way three, two, two one 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 and back there if we add those numbers up three add two is five add two is seven add one is eight and one is nine and one is ten we end up with the perimeter of my little ant walking around there or the piece of wool as ten centimeters so then I can just use my inequality to sign to say, right, my first, my triangle was 12 centimeters. And that's a greater length, perimeter is a greater length than my second shape, which is 10 centimeters. Okay. So Alex has used less wool to make the blue polygon the red triangle. 
Because the question says, has Alex used more or less wool to make the blue polygon? He's made less wool to make the blue polygon than the red triangle. Okay, so we need to get those shape names in, trying to remember the perimeter, remembering polygons, remembering triangles, like a tricycle. A triangle has got three sides. A tricycle has got three wheels. Okay. So important to remember this fantastic mathematical vocabulary. Okay, let's have a look at our next thing. So we've done the discover and share. Okay. Now, we could just go into do this. It's difficult in some of these questions where we're supposed to be measuring, but I'll just show you. Here, we can see this is a rectangle. So this side is going to be the same length as what side? It's going to be the same length as this side here. And this length, the width, they're going to be the same, and the two lengths, heights. So here, I've started here. I've gone, where have I gone? I think I must have started here or here. I've measured the three first. Three. Two. And three. And two. How much wool would we need? Imagine that little ant walking all the way around. We're going to use this as the starting point so we don't double count anywhere. Three and two is five. Three is eight. And two is ten. So we'd need ten centimeters of wool. If we knew that was a rectangle, we didn't really need to measure the four sides. We could have just measured. This side here. We would have known three times two is six, two times two is four, put them together and make ten. Or I could have just measured three and two, five, made it two times big, or times it by two, multiplied it by two to get my answer of ten. Okay, so then. I haven't got this with me, so if you've got the book or you can print the page off, then you can do this measurement. I'm not going to give you the answer. Of course, let's have a look at question two. Find the perimeter of these shapes. You will need to measure some of the sides. Okay. Okay, so this, so you, again, you need to measure, but if this is a regular, if all these sides are the same, or three centimetres, I could just put this here. Three, if you know your three times table. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen. This would be eighteen centimetres. Length. Perimeter would be 18 centimeters, starting from this. It would therefore be how many millimeters? We know there's 10 millimeters in the centimeter, so therefore the millimeters for this shape would be 100 millimeters. That's it, okay, by the way. 10 times bigger, so it's 100 millimeters. Okay, one, two, three. Four, five, six. Try this shape. That's a hexagon. Okay, a hexagon. A six-sided hex. Okay, now we've got a square. I'm assuming this is a square. So I'm going to start at this point. I know this is 25. 25, 50, 75, 100. Stop. Which we get back to that point, so I don't want to double count. So that's a hundred millimeters. A hundred millimeters. What would that be in centimeters? What would that be in centimeters? Hundred millimeters. 
Hmm. We make it 10 times smaller. So therefore, we'll divide it by 10 to get 10 centimeters. Okay, so, but I'm not going to do this because I haven't got the measurement tool with me at the moment. I could, I suppose, if I rule it up, round, quite cool. I don't know if he's drawn size. So you can have a look at that and try and work out that for yourself. If not, we're going to go on to our questions to work out the perimeter. Okay. Remembering, we call the distance around the sides of a shape the perimeter, the perimeter of the shape. We call the distance around the sides of a shape. Think of that ant walking around these shapes. Imagine you walking on top of the fence in the mugger. That distance all the way around the sides of the shape. Around. Okay, that is your perimeter. Okay, so let's have a look at our next question. Okay, now here. That's fine. Question one works quite nicely because we can use the information that we're being given. If you're not sure about this side, draw your own rectangle and work out the perimeter of it. If you haven't got, if you haven't got access to this, if you can't print out this slide, it's a bit more difficult. So you can do your own rectangle in. That makes sense. You can, I want to see you draw a rectangle, measure it, and tell me what the perimeter is. Okay. Same with the triangle. If you can't print this out or you can't measure measure it on here, I want to see you draw in a triangle. Measuring that triangle. Remember, in triangles, have three sides. That's really important. So it's got to have three sides. I want to see you doing that. Okay. Now, quite interesting, you sometimes see this, and this sometimes shocks children, and they go, I don't know what that shape is, that doesn't look like a square. But all it is, is this, is this twisted round a bit, it's just turned, but it's still a square, therefore the four sides are the same length. So you've got to do, draw me, if you can do it yourself, you've got to try and draw a square with the four sides the same length. Here, you're not allowed to draw a square because that's a, rectangle. Two sides are the same length, the other two are. Okay. So let's look at the other sheet. Okay. Now, if you can't get access and you can't measure these, draw similar shapes to for me and work out the perimeter in, in centimeters, millimeters, and millimeters. Do three shapes, one work out the perimeter of a rectangle in centimeters. So if you can't measure these pieces on paper, what I want you to do is to do it on plain paper with a ruler and a pencil and do your own shape. That'd be even probably more interesting, more beneficial, because then you're also learning how to measure those shapes and how to draw the shape. Okay, next one, draw a shape with a perimeter of eight. Again, you can either do that on the worksheet, the workbook, or you can, do it just on a piece of paper. Then have a go. So I want everyone to have a go at those three type of questions. If you want to go further, go further. That's fantastic. So anyway, anyway, you're three. I know you've all had a fantastic week. We had a bit of a late start. We had the nice snow. I hope you enjoyed making snow men and throwing snowballs on Monday. Hopefully we'll have a bit more snow sometime in January and February. Give us another day out. Um, but I'm looking forward to seeing everyone on Monday. So get measuring your perimeters. You can even work out the perimeter of your bedroom or your lounge. Anyway, have a lovely weekend. I can't wait to see you all very soon. And I'm going to give you a big wave and a big hug. So see you soon. Bye.